Okay, welcome back, Chemistry 30. This is the last part of the video. So we looked at ways of defining acids and bases in the previous one. Then we looked at polyprotic acids that ionize uh, in a series of steps depending upon the number of hydrogens. If there's two hydrogens, there's two steps. If there were three hydrogens, there'd be three steps. And then now we'll summarize everything in terms of the vocab. So acidic solution, many different ways we can define that. One way is to think of it as something that ionizes to give off H plus ions, or it tastes sour, conducts electricity, etc. So acetic acid in vinegar. Vinegar is basically made up of acetic acid dissolved in water, so that's an acidic solution. Basic solutions, ionized to give off OH minus ions is one way we can think of it. Also feels slippery, accepts H pluses in the bronston lowry definition, etc. Many different ways we can define that. And soap is an example of a basic solution. Arrhenius model, an acid is something that ionizes or dissociates to give off H pluses, whereas a base is something that ionizes to give off OH minus ions. So hydrochloric acid versus sodium hydroxide. And then that definition wasn't uh, good enough, so we have the bronston lowry The acid is something that donates an H plus, it gives up an H, whereas a base is something that accepts an H plus ion. So the example I used, HX forming X, it means it must have lost an H, so it's an acid. H2O to become H3O, it must have received an H, so it's bronston lowry base. Conjugate acid and conjugate base, you can see here the conjugate acid is something that produce, is produced when a base accepts an H+, plus. so H3O would be the conjugate acid, and also going in reverse, it behaves like an acid. Conjugate base, it's something that produced when an acid lost an H+, plus. or thinking about it going in reverse, it behaves like a base. It accepts a hydrogen. Conjugate acid-base pair, so pairing them up, they're related to each other by the donating or accepting of a single hydrogen. So NH3, NH4, it gains an H, so those two are paired up. H2O, OH, this one. So here's a case in which water actually behaves like an acid. It lost an, it lost an H to become OH, so it's actually behaving like an acid. Amphoteric, something that can behave as an acid or a base depending upon the circumstance. So here are two examples of water uh, behaving like an acid or a base. Over here H2O becomes OH, lost an H to become that, so it is a acid. Or H2O to become H3O, it must have received an H to become that, so it's acting like a base. Okay, so there you have it. That's the first booklet for the acids and base section. Uh, hopefully we see you soon for the second part, 19.2.